All right, what's going on, guys? Today we are watching Doctor Stone season two, episode four. Um, I'm a little bit late on the episode today, a bit later than usual, which is annoying. Um, I've got like new schedule kind of um, going on in my personal life, uh, but I'm still gonna hopefully keep to uh, keep getting the episodes out on the day um, as soon as possible. It's annoying that I have to kind of work to this new schedule, but um, I'll do my best because I really don't want don't want to fall out of the loop with anime and with YouTube. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get into the episode right now. <laughs> this was such a good episode. Nikki seems like such a nice character. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're in school. <laughs> She's going to train Jen to sound even more like Lillian. <laughs> awesome. We are very aware of how strong Tukasa is. Damn, look at this lineup. A whole lineup of strong people, it looks like. They're like commanders or something, goddamn. The white haired dude, Hyoga, yeah. The new dude, Ukyo, Ukyo. He's got that immense hearing and uh, bow and arrow. Mm. Full assault, ooh. Gonna have some, uh, some right into the wall, maybe? Oh yeah, really good hearing, that's true. <laughs> Damn, she's beefy. <laughs> Sonar operator, that's pretty cool. Wow, yeah, I'm some, I'm... I'm not surprised then that he has grey hearing. Damn, this smoke screen was massive. Um, Chrome? Are you okay, Chrome? He's not dead. Holy crap! That was close. <laughs> yeah, I thought. <laughs> oh, go on, Magma. Go and get him. Oh my god, you crazy bastard. Yeah, exactly. Magma, you've kind of screw up, man. Oh, dude. Dude, oh, why is he missing these? He doesn't seem like the type of guy that it would have to miss. Or is it because of the smoke screen and he's just getting a, an estimate? Then maybe he's missing on purpose? Yeah, why? Exactly, yeah. This guy is winnable. He's not a f crazy bastard like Ukyo. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this dude's like an assassin. Uh, he's right there. Who's... Oh, look at him. <laughs> who, which, um, who... Whose voice is this? I kind of recognize it. Is it Jorno? It sounds a lot like Jorno. Kind of. It's a little higher pitched, I think. Look at these Ungabunga caveman meatheads we've got here. And the cool commander. <laughs> and then the king. This is the first time Sukasa and Chroma are meeting. Sukasa is massive, man, Jesus. I feel like it's been so long since we've heard his voice, I think. Okay, so you've just... Alright, so you've just spoiled the fact that Senku's alive then. Oh, did he already know that? I can't remember. <laughs> Kaku, no. No. <laughs> There's no one in the village that could stop her, apart from Senku. Oh, he actually wants to do an assault? Okay. Damn. I didn't think they'd move out this soon. Oh, they've actually trapped her in a cage. <laughs> what exactly are you bringing for what reason? Or are you just using them just in case you need these materials? Oh, what are we building? I see a wheel. I see a circular wheel shape. It's definitely a wheel. What are we building? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're making a car. <laughs> That's crazy. It's definitely not going to look like that, to be honest. <laughs> I remember the first vehicle that Senku made uh, in season one, where it was just like very basic, but it worked with um, him and Kaku. And now we're going to get something really even better than that. He's not just smart when it comes to science. He's also like a decent architect as well, I'd say. Like, he doesn't build this stuff himself, obviously he couldn't. But he makes these good blueprints and designs and stuff, it's just really impressive. <laughs> the wobbly engine! <laughs> Honeycomb? Hmm. What does that make? Does it make fuel? Wait, are you making plastic again? <laughs> I'm Pan Man. So what are you using, using it for now? Oh, okay. And what's beeswax for? No. No. Oh. I remember doing this kind of thing in woodwork in um in school. It was super fun. Why wouldn't it be a problem? Oh, ah, you can use it to make molds. That's smart as hell. Yeah, I like how Magma follows his follows his orders now. Science is all about reuse. That's true. What is that? I don't know a thing about cars or engines, so this is going to be fairly new kind of thing to me. That's such a cool process. Ah, I see. That's super cool. <laughs> I love Kaseki. <laughs> Look at it, Senku's face. <laughs> oh, I love this dude. Yeah, what about it? 
Are you all gonna realize something right now? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's Chrome. He's... He, he pulls through. He's loyal as hell. I don't think he'd spill the beans. <laughs> oh, Chrome's got some balls, man. <laughs> yeah, something modern day people take for take uh, take for granted. Oh my god, <laughs> Chrome's gonna die. Rest in peace, Chrome. <laughs> the that still probably wouldn't have been as impressive. Yep, keep, keep keep your mouth shut. He's not gonna let shit go though. He'd die before he messed up the plan in any way. Yeah, I guess it's a, it's just a little in the past. Yeah, I understand Sukasa doesn't want this the repeating of this, but you can't deny science, man. Like, it is a brilliant thing, right? Like, what was the purpose of the petrification? Like, was it actually to purify the world? Damn, that's a, that's a good offer, if just for Senku as well. But, like, absolutely not. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Chrome's a beast, man, I love him. Shit. Actually dropped him. Oh my god. That dude's aim is crazy. I actually thought they were just gonna let him die. Like, I knew he, he couldn't have died this early on, but, like, yeah, bro. Chrome's a fucking beast. I mean, you're you're an actual beast, but Chrome's a beast in his own way. Sukasa is too strong, man. He's a pillar, man, I swear to God. I think Sukasa respects the idea of, like, that, that level of loyalty. That's why he's, like, doing this, which is something I can respect about Sukasa. He's still Sukasa, though. He's still got some uh, messed up ideals. Oh? Oh? He told them something different. Bro, we're gonna get Ukyo on our side, man. Yeah. For, you're crazy. If either of those found out you lied to him, you'd be dead. Oh, yeah. I like this Ukyo guy already. He seems cool. Yo, is this... Is this, like, brass? What is this? That's cool. Even got a, sol a soldering iron. That's cool. Senku one. Look at this car. It's kind of tiny. But it... I mean, what's it gonna hold? It's not that big. It's very cool how it works, though. Is it fast? Is it that fast? It seems hella fast. Holy shit. The Industrial Revolution. That's so cool. Damn, look at this. Look at these cool visuals. That's awesome. Damn, even Magma looks cool. <laughs> oh, look at Kaku. Oh, Senku the train driver. That's awesome. He's got 1,000 on his hat. <laughs> it's super quick, actually. God damn. I suppose it's quite lightweight, though, uh, apart from, like, the engine. So, that was Dr. Stone Season 2, Episode 4. That was a really good episode. I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. And from Magma and Chrome trying to defeat Ukyo to Chrome giving himself up um, to him not admitting anything um, about Senku's plan or anything like that with his own life on the line. Shout out Chrome. He's a beast. I love Chrome. Um, we get the uh, teaser of that Ukyo might come to Senku's side for whatever reason. Um, and now we get the first automobile and we've entered the industrial resolution. That's, uh, that's a really revolution and revolution or resolution. That's really awesome. Honestly, like a top, top, really good episode. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say. And that's that. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.